Hello, this is the Saboteur coming at you from Hillbilly Gaming. Well, they got Battlefield 5 revealed, and it's a World War One setting. So you can tell by his outfit there, he's got him a trench bat there. And there's a lot of trench fighting done back in World War I. It was at the turn of the century. And they had a lot of trench wars going on where they just dug trenches 100 yards apart and sat there and just fired their guns back and forth from the trenches. Usually not even getting out of the trenches to charge, just shooting back and forth. But I'm hoping it's not set like that. I'm sure they'll have coverage and they'll set the maps up where you can run around and fight. You can see the tank there. It's at the beginning of the technology age, so the tanks are like big trash cans with tracks on them that roll. But, I mean, it was back in time. You can see the airplane there is all opened up and the material it's made out of. Bullets are going to fly right through it, so you're going to be able to take a lot of damage when you're flying. And the tanks wasn't that sturdy of a metal then either, so they won't be able to hold as much damage. But I mean, all the newer games are going forward, and you know, like Black Ops 3, uh, Battlefront, Halo 5, they're all taking a step in the future. It's nice to see that they're coming out with a game that takes a step in the past in Battlefield 5. So here we're going over some of the guns. That dude's carrying a machine gun, but most of the infantry were got single shot, either bolt action or marksman you know rifles single shot there's a machine gun but that's set for on the ground where it just sits stationary and fends off charging armies there's another one you can see their gas mask it just looks like bags over their head and that rifle right there is an advanced rifle for that stage you can see it's got a five start uh, five shot clip and it's a single shot it ain't at both action and it's got the bayonet on the end because, I mean, there's a lot of in-close action. I can't wait for that part of the game. There's some hand grenades. They had different style of hand grenades from that time period. Not just that. They had the regular hand grenades with the bolt, the, the pins that we pull out like not nowadays. But, I mean, it was a different time period, man. It was at the beginning of the 19th century or the 20th century, the 1900s, early 1900s. At the start of technology, we didn't have helicopters yet or none of that. Tanks and airplanes had just been created we had cannons but they had been cannons for years before but we were just now getting where we had the long range cannons and there's some of the marksman rifles i was talking to you that most of the people carry and there's what one of the tanks looks like back from that time period but i mean it's nice to take a step back in the past and i'm hoping that they can you know make it an advanced i mean game with that type of uh technology and weaponry from the past and I'm sure they will. EA and DICE have came up with uh, a, a lot of uh, good uh, Battlefield series games. You can see that tank right there had a flamethrower. Plus it's got this big cannon on top. So I mean we're going to have some tanks. And there's even some lever action guns from 1800s like the Cowboys you use. 3030s and such. And the Navy, the ships. You know the ships hasn't changed too much over the years. I mean they got better metal and better speeds and stuff and that machine gun was a base there but it's got a stock on it and it's got a stand where you can lay it down and you can pick it up and run with it so I mean there was all different types of guns back then there's a revolver but they had automatic pistols there's a dude even riding an elephant so that tells you how far back in time it was he's got his machine gun based on an elephant and there's some different guns from different countries all the countries there's a blimp they used blimps because you could float over top and drop bombs and they were stationary. You could go over there and, and just drop them off in one spot. There's a newer style hand grenade. They drop the, the bombs off in one spot as the planes would fly over. A blimp would just sit there so you could drop them over. There's a dude with his dog, both wearing gas masks. Looks like they got bags over their face. So, I mean, you can tell from all the, the weaponry and the technology that I'm showing you here. There's some dudes in the trenches with bags over their head with some kind of shield in it. But with all the weaponry and technology from that age, you can see that we are going to be taking a step back in time. But, I mean, it was Germany and Japan that tried to take over the world. And they started taking over Europe, France, and England. There looks like a flamethrower. France and England and them were in it early. U.S. and America got in it late like we did in World War II. But, you know, we got in it finally. But England and them were in it from right from the start, but they were right there by Germany. They were getting attacked. I think we waited a little too long to get into the battle, but that's history, not the game. There's some hand grenades from that era. 
But I think it's going to be a fun game, and I'm ready to take a step back in the past and try, you know, I'm thinking they'll have some good maps to cover that time period where it's not just trench wars. And, I mean, there's also going to be some Pacific maps, which are, uh, you know, jungle areas, too. So it'll be a lot of different, there'll be some different types of maps. But I, it'll be a cool game, guys. I can't wait. I love the Battlefield series games. I think they're some of the most realistic war games. And I think this one's going to be no different, except it's going to be set in the past in a different time period. So you can see the RPG there. That's an old-style RPG. So, I mean, a lot of those, I'd be scared they blow up in my hand and my face. You can see the planes and the tanks there from that time period. So, basically, I'm just going over the weaponry and the technology from that time period. But that's what the game's looking like it's going for. It's going to be a World War I setting. So, we're jumping back in the past, guys. But don't be afraid. I think they're going to come up with some good maps. And some. I can't wait to get in some, some dog fights in them World War I jet, or planes right there. That's going to be pretty fun. But this is the Saboteur. Can't wait. It comes out in October 2016. And just because it's going back in the past and the technology and the weaponry is going to be set back a little bit, I think the game's still going to be just as fun if they can create some maps, you know, that cover that time period with some enclosed action, some bayonetting. So I just can't wait. This is Saboteur out in Gaming. Y'all come back now, you hear? I hope this was helpful.